What's new with Charlie's? Tell me what's new with Charlie's still on Main. Hi, welcome to this week's edition of What's New at Charlie's. Well, we're just going to keep rolling into 2023 with another big gun, another unicorn here at Charlie's. Uh, we have a Blanton straight from the barrel. Now, it's tough enough to get a Blanton's. It's really hard to get a straight from the barrel or a Blanton's gold. Still working on that gold, but the Blanton straight from the barrel did show up with my allocations this week or this month. So here we are. Don, my good friend, Mr. Don Williams of Bourbon Fool, folks. You know, Charlie. What's up, man? You know, Charlie, five exquisite bourbons in a row. Five unicorns, dude. Yeah. Five, it's, it's uh, you know, you're spoiling me. Yeah, it, sooner or later we're going to come back to Earth. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah. we are eventually. Yeah, yeah exactly. Are, but, yeah. Uh, you know, straight from the barrel, 129.8 proof. Wow, dude. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't wait to try this thing. I've not... Uh, I've not seen one before. Or I've not had it before. So um, yeah, it, it's uh, it's exciting. And to tell you the truth, uh, it's a true unicorn because. So, so everyone looks for Blantons, but give them a little uh, backstory on Blantons, where, how it came about, what's all about. I know it's got a great story. So well, well it, Blantons was the original first single barrel issued in 1984. Yeah. Uh, and they were kind of ahead of the curve, you know, yeah. that, that was before the bourbon boom. Yeah. And it was a way to kind of differentiate a product. And they found that they chose Blanton's, uh, the barrels based on the honey holes that they had in one of the warehouses. Yep. And to this day, Blanton's comes from that specific warehouse. Yep. Uh, very unique. Uh, and, you know, in 84, they had a horse topper on it, but it didn't have the significance that it does today because they did not start putting the letters spelling Blanton's on the horses until later. Which everyone looks for their letters now when, they, right. when they buy Blanton's. So, so the, you know, Blanton's obviously named for Colonel Blanton, uh, one of the master distillers of, of one of the many celebrity master distillers at Buffalo Trace over the years. Um, but why did they do single barrel? Why was it, why, well, why was he known for the single barrel? Well, because when Colonel Blanton would entertain, uh, he would send somebody, a trusted employee, into the warehouse, the specific warehouse, and he would send them in there and say, I want a honey barrel. And they knew what cut, what level in that warehouse produced the best barrels. And that's where the idea came. Well, if Colonel Blanton wanted a specific barrel, it was a single barrel. And that's when they introduced him and they named it after Colonel Blanton. So they just pull a barrel out and party with it. Yes. That's, yes. that's, that's pretty cool. And my experience has been, if you're lucky enough to have a master distiller take you in the back room and say, I want you to try something, it's usually a honey barrel. I bet it's pretty good, yeah. And then uh, last time we were at Buffalo Trace, they showed pictures of, a, maybe you can insert picture here, maybe, we'll see. Um, the uh, Colonel Blanton had big pots where he would cook uh, burgoo that we have on the menu here at Charlie's. So they had burgoo pots uh, that are still there to this day where at these parties he would make big batches of burgoo and they would roll out a barrel of whiskey. And, and the interesting thing is, you know how many times you and I have been to Buffalo Trace. Yeah. And that's the first time we saw the Burgoo kettles. Yes, it absolutely is. And the only reason they, Eugene showed it to us is because he did his research and saw it was on my menu. How cool is that? That's the experience you get when you go to Buffalo Trace, folks. But hey, I'm going to get this thing open. We're getting a little long-winded here. So, not traditional Blanton's box, but check this out. I already, I already peeked. I saw this. Leather bag. Look at that, dude. <laughs> huh? Huh? Yeah, how about that? That's pretty awesome. That is cool. Look at that bottle, man. Is that beautiful? That's cool, dude, right there. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and crack this thing open. Anything else you want to talk about on it? It's, uh, well, we already covered the proof. and. Well, we're, we're going to ask you, we're going to ask you a question near the end of this so you can still watch and win. Oh, yeah. But yeah, the old watch and win. That's going pretty good, isn't it? That's right. People have been answering questions and right. liking the videos, so that's keep right. that up. And, we'll uh, keep giving stuff away. And uh, you'll be able to see who the winners are. They'll be announced on uh, uh, Charlie Still on Main uh, Facebook page. Uh, but right now. They will. They okay. will. All right, cool. Yeah. Right now, um, 
what is unique about Warehouse H where Blanton's comes from? I don't know. What is it? So at Buffalo Trace. I'm going to go ahead and pour this while we're done. They have one unique rick house or warehouse that is made out of steel and, you know, call it metal. And the reason they did that, when they built it in 1935, they needed to get a rick house up in a hurry. And metal was the fastest construction opportunity at the time. And then, lo and behold, they found that the metal transfers the heat and the cold in a much different way than the traditional brick or wooden rick houses. Sure, yeah. And so to this day, Warehouse H is the source of all Blanton's. Oh, I did not know that. Well, cheers, my friend. Cheers. It smells delicious, I can tell you that. Ooh, that hugs all the way down. That's not your father's Blanton's That right is there. not your father's Blanton's right there. I'm going to tell you what. Wow. Wow. There is a lot happening there. There is a lot. So I'm going to I'm going to tell you a little a little truthism about me is everyday Blanton's I like it. Yeah. But I don't You're not paying two hundred dollars a bottle right, for it? Yeah. Right. It's right, not right, one right, of my yeah. favorites. Yeah, right. But this is special. Oh, this, this is, is this is really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Well just look at the color compared to a blend. Look at that. The color on that thing. Do we know how long this thing was aged? Was this does it say on here? I'm really not sure. I, no, it tells you when it's done, but it didn't tell you when it went in the barrel. Yeah. So, so it's barrel fifteen ninety three, so they actually identify it. And I'm bottle number one fifty two. Right. But that's got to be long, aged longer than a regular Blanton's. So, um, boy, I'm going to tell you, this has got, uh, this has got molasses. It's got caramel. It's got kind of a toasted grain taste to it. Yep. Yep. Um, it is just delicious. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's really good. It does have a bit more of a. <clears throat> A little bit more of a burn than some of the well ones we tried in the last few weeks of these big right. bourbons, everything. Right. But it is it is some serious proof. It's, it's 129. Yeah, that's 8. true. That is a little higher than most of them. But yeah, yeah. And like it, I said, it hugs all the way down. But the flavor is fantastic. And it is unfiltered and uncut. So, right. I mean, it is truly straight from the barrel. Yes. And uh, boy, that's uh, that is a delicious product. That is yeah. No. I mean, you expect nothing less from Buffalo Trace, right? I they, mean, it's they, gonna be good. They, right? con they continue to do it, you yeah. know, often. And uh, uh, our good friend Eugene actually reached out to me earlier tonight. No way. And said, when are you and Charlie coming back down? I actually got a text from him today. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but We should send him a picture of this. Yeah. We will. Okay. So you have to ask the group now. Everybody's been responding and we've been getting great response. Yeah. So. There was one gentleman behind the start of Blanton's. Yep. And we want you to tell us who that was. Just put it in the comments uh, after you saw, uh, viewed the video. Yep. And you'll be entered to win. Yep. Now, you're not talking who it's named after, right? No. Nope. You're talking about who started it. The person whose who idea was the... it was gotcha. to create a single barrel named after Colonel Blanton. Gotcha. Okay, there's a little homework for you folks at home. Figure that out, write it in the comments, and uh, once again, we'll get something out to you. Keep watching the videos, keep liking them, keep sharing them. We really appreciate it, and keep coming to Charlie's and trying this great whiskey, because it's not going to last forever. You're going to want to come and try this one. Cheers, Cheers, my friend. Thank you. What's new at Charlie's still on Main? What's new at Charlie's? Tell me what's new at Charlie's still on Main?